Mark, congratulations on a tremendous victory. You, you said going into this that it wouldn't be as good as the 2018 final, but it was one hell of a performance, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I, I, th I think I played really good, solid stuff all the way through in three sessions from 3-1 down. You know, I can't play much solid. My safety was good, a few long balls I was potting was, was good. Some of the ones I went for was ridiculous. A uh, lot of breaks, a few sentries. I just loved every minute of it and was enjoying it. Yeah, how much are you relishing occasions like this against the likes of John? I'm sure when you both turned pro in 1992, if someone had said you'd still be competing on this stage against each other in 2021, are you, I'm not sure you would necessarily believe me. Um, no, I wouldn't. Um, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, I played him here probably when I was in my 20s. You know, I'm the other side on my way to 50 at the minute, so closer to 50 than 40, and, and played him. Just played him again. Um, how many more years this can happen? I don't know. I'm just like I said, I'm playing as free, carefree as I can and just see. My aim is just to see how long I can stay in the top 16 for, really, to see if I can stay in there when I, if I make 50, you know. Um, that, that's my main aim and just enjoy it along the way and, and, and try play some good stuff, which I am at the minute. So, yeah, I mean, you say this carefree approach is helping you sustain it and helping you enjoy it. But actually, does it, you know, you're the fastest player on tour as well now, does it that help pile the pressure on your opponents? Um, possibly because you know if I get on a roll, you know I can win a few, few frames in half an hour. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so if I can go in a roll and, and have like say three eighty breaks or something, it's three frames gone in probably twenty five minutes. So it, it can put a bit of pressure on, and you know putting pressure on their safety more than anything because you know if their safety is not really good, then I'm going for it regardless of where it was. So wherever the balls are. Um, so possibly, I mean, you'd have to ask my opponents that, but you know, but uh, it could possibly put them under a little bit more pressure. You always get the, the questions here at the World Championship about title hopes and things, and you've talked your chances down a bit. But didn't that, did that performance not have a bit of a feel of 2018 about it? Um, probably played as as good as I was back in, in 18 there, I suppose. Um, I'm just being honest. I mean, if I think 2018 coming year. Um, I thought I had a great chance of winning it. I was playing some great stuff, and I told people I thought I got a chance of winning this from before we even started. And I think a lot of people actually agreed with me. Um, I don't feel like that uh, this year. If I feel like I can win it, I tell you. But I don't feel like I'm like I'm playing good enough or can sustain it to win it. Um, whether you believe me, I, I don't know. But if I thought I could win it, I'd tell you. Well, you are only one match away from the one table set up now. It's Mark Selby or Mark Allen. How much are you looking forward to that quarter final? Yeah, it'd be nice. I uh, just missed it by a couple of frames last year. O'Sullivan beat me in the quarters. Um, like I've always said, this, this arena, not my favourite. But once it goes to the, the one table set up, you know, it's the best about. Uh, I nearly got there last year. Uh, let's hope I can get it this year because, you know, that's when the tournament really uh, kicks in. Well, tremendous win tonight, Mark. Well done. Thank you. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.